Okay, Scorpio. Let's get into this. <clears throat> you hear my trap music going on in the back, probably. I like to trap while I tarot. If that's not something that you like, this would not be the channel for you. These readings are general. If they don't resonate with you, check your moon and your rising sign. And if none of those resonate, then please don't try to force a story. Okay? These readings are general. I read from the woman's perspective and the men that they are dealing with. <clears throat> This reading is from now, so from the 24th to the end of February. I think we got a leap year this year, so we get 29 days, so from now until the 29th. Okay. I do pre-shuffle, but um, I do like to shuffle on camera just to get the energies going. Any messages for Scorpio in terms of love and the, and the person that they're dealing with? Any messages for Scorpio in terms of love and the person that they're dealing with? Any messages for Scorpio? Okay. So I'm going to take that as the overall energy, the Empress. So Scorpio, you bossing up here. This is about growth, expansion, prosperity, fertility. You could be pregnant. And there with that Empress card. When I see that Empress, I always think of Libra or Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But in any event, you're getting yourself together or you've gotten yourself together. <clears throat> okay so what happened in the recent past the world so something came to an end in the recent past could be dealing with um a taurus aquarius scorpio or leo those are the fixed signs of the zodiac no matter the element um the current energy is the knight of swords so you could be rushing in or out, or someone could be rushing in or out for some reason to communicate maybe. So I'm very, this is truthful, very truthful communication. Um, but I mean, you could just look at the card. It's not, when I see this card, I think about fights and arguments, conflict, that type of deal, okay? How they view you is the Page of Pentacles. So they could view you as stable. They could view you as, uh, they could view you as immature. They could view you as somebody who is immature in terms of finances. Um, you could also, you know, you could also have a kid with this person. It could have ended because of arguments about finances. We'll have to further clarify. But how they feel about you is the fool. So I see where they may want to have a new beginning with you. Okay. The reason for the reading is the seven of pentacles. So somebody's waiting. Somebody's waiting. Somebody could be really thinking about the investment that they made. And, you know, pondering the fact that they did not get what they invested in the relationship. Um, we'll, we'll have to further clarify how they see themselves moving forward with you as a nine of pentacles. So they see themselves as single and not moving forward. Okay. What's hidden that you don't know about is the star card. This person could be more focused on healing. Um, this person could be the center of attention. This person could be getting a lot, a lot of attention here at this star card. 
I mean, the lady's butt naked. The person, so this person could be dealing with somebody else too. I'm just gonna say that, just from the depiction on the card. What's the advice from Tarot? I'm thinking that the advice from Tarot is to go find something more stable, or to look for stability. Okay, get some kind of foundation. And what's the outcome for you guys? The Seven of Cups. So I see confusion. I see where somebody will keep their options open. Somebody has a lot of options here. And it looks like they're going to keep them open. Okay. So why is this Empress the overall energy? Why is the Empress the overall energy? So I'm feeling like you're more, I feel, I'm feeling like whoever this is, is more focused on themselves. They're not even concerned. They're not really concerned with love or, or, or offering a love offer on love offer or even an apology. They're not really open to it with that page of cups in reverse. So I'm getting, the, I'm getting the feeling that this is you just because it's a water element. You're not really focused on that. You're focused on yourself. Why is it page of cups here in reverse? Yeah, you want to, you're trying to avoid any further disasters with this person with that tower in reverse. That's you, Scorpio. That's Scorpionic energy. Um, so you're not even open to any kind of love offer coming from this person. You are trying to, to avoid, you don't have any confidence that this uh, relationship could work out. That's the overall energy. Why is the world here in the recent past? <clears throat> So I feel like this is a situation where <clears throat> this was a reconciliation, okay? The person might have came back out of the cold and you guys reconciled and then it ended again. It, did, it, it didn't work, okay? So this time, the lessons that needed to be learned must have been, you know, must have been learned this time around. Hold on, I dropped the card. Yeah, there was some deception here. I feel like there were some games, some games being played here. Could have been dealing with an air sign or an earth sign. But I feel like there were some games being played here and uh, some narcissistic behavior. Because uh, this is basically, you know, this is I will do or say or be whatever I need to do in order to get what I want. That's what that card is to me. So there was some deception here. Why is it not a source to current energy? So more air energy here. Somebody rushing in with some truthful communication, but, uh, so I believe this is heated discussions about why you don't want a new beginning with this person. And this person may not, you know, this person may not be wanting to hear that, especially if this is a cycle where I get the feeling where this is a cycle that has been going on for so long and they've been able to talk you into doing things over again. But here in the foundation, I see where you are really you've been really pondering the fact that you've put a lot into this relationship and you haven't gotten anything out of it so you're over it you do not want a second chance here okay or you don't want a reconciliation with that judgment in reverse and i believe you're having heated discussions about that yeah you probably told them that you're not happy that this does not make you happy this is not your wish fulfillment that's your energy scorpio um, so you've probably told this person that and it's caused arguments and tension and conflict. They view you as the page of pentacles. So they view you as someone who's stable. You could be a, you could be very astute. Okay. But they also view you as someone who's broken their heart or someone who's separated from them. They could also view you as somebody that was in a third party situation. So now the question is, did you fully release yourself from this relationship before <clears throat> you got into this next one or whatever happened? Um, because that three of swords is my third party card. So they view you as someone who was in a third, who put them in a third party situation. Even if that's not the case, that's how they view you. And they view you as somebody who was secretive. So they view you as somebody who was doing some narc. So now, is this you? Is this your energy, Scorpio? Because that's how they view you. Not that that had to happen, but, you know, that's how they view you. Could be dealing with a uh, Pisces or, or air energy, or air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, they could also very, view you as very immature in financial areas. So 
they could view you as somebody who didn't manage their money correctly. But the way they feel about you, could be dealing with Aries here, but the way they feel in their emotions is the fool. So they want to take a new leap of faith with you, though. They want a new beginning. That's crazy. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. So, I, so I'm getting a, the feeling that there aren't, there isn't any steady communication. Again, more fire energy. There isn't any steady com communication, and the communication that you guys are having is not, is not positive communication. Okay. How else do they feel about Scorpio and their emotions? Yeah, they feel like you were being, they feel like you were being phony. They do not feel like you were being truthful. They feel like you were wearing a false mask and they feel like you were being a trickster. They feel like you was running game. Okay. But it's so, I mean, why would they want another chance with you though? That's crazy. But okay. That fool energy can also be slightly trickery too. Because it's young energy. So. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Again, that's Gemini Virgo energy there. Sometimes Aries. Oh Lord. Yeah, you're embarking, you're thinking about, you. so with this seven of pentacles and the foundation, this is someone who is, yes, it's about waiting, but it's also about really taking a hard look at what's going on, you know, looking at the investment that you've put in and the fact that you haven't gotten anything out of it and you're looking into a new path. Where do I go from here with this two of wands? Okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign. So you're looking to embark somewhere else. Yeah, you are not offering the cup. You're not even open to any kind of love offer from this person with this nine of cups in reverse, okay? So how they see themselves moving forward with you is the Nine of Pentacles. So they see themselves as single also. Wow. So I feel like they go back and forth here because you got the Nine of Pentacles in the upright and you got the Nine of Pentacles in um, in the reverse. Could be dealing with that earth energy. So there's heavy, if the Two of Pentacles popped out, I wouldn't be surprised. There's heavy... Um, back and forth going on here one day they see themselves as the, yes i want to be back with them and then the next day hey i want to be single and i don't want to deal with them that's the energy that they're in and it's probably be because they don't see themselves making any headway with you okay so they they are attracted to you though they're very attracted to you and they want to make uh they want to take action in moving towards you here with this queen of wands but like i said um you know, it's inconsistent. One day they feel that way, the next day they don't. That type of thing. Who is this Queen of Wands? Because you're the Queen of Pentacles, so now who's this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands? So I feel like after a time of solitude, could be dealing with a Virgo, but uh, after a time of, you know, deep thinking, or time along with themselves, they could want to move ahead and, um, you know, make change, make, what am I, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I just lost my train of thought. They want to make, take steps to come towards you. So what's hidden is the star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So I think they they are focused on healing because there was an imbalance in this relationship. So they could have they could feel like they were giving more than they were receiving. I'm really kind of confused as to who was really wronged in this. It was it you or was it them? But uh, again, more earth energy. Yeah, they're not healed. And so uh, again, with the inconsistency, temperance in reverse, but you got the star in the upright. So I think they're trying to find balance. I think they're trying to find balance. I don't think this relationship was balanced. There was somebody here that was giving way more than, than the other. Also, with the temperance in reverse, um, this is somebody who's not patient. 
So they may be trying to come, you know, back towards you. But like I said, I think the communication that you guys are having is communication that is not very positive. And it's probably you telling them that you don't want to do this again. So the advice from Tarot is the Four of Wands. Why? Could be dealing with a, um, a fire sign. But the Four of Wands is about marriage, commitment, stability. So I feel like it's telling you to go find something more stable. I feel like it's telling you to really cut this relationship out and to not even, and really to detach yourself from it. Um, and to not really even communicate with this person. Give me one more on this. Yeah, disconnect this relationship here with the lovers in reverse. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, but yeah, the lovers in reverse. The lovers in the upright is about a very strong connection. And so I think it's, I'm, I'm feeling like it's telling you to disconnect yourself from this relationship and go find something that's going to be more stable. That's going to give you the stability that you're looking for. So, and the outcome is the seven of cups. That's a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer. And I feel like this is you. I feel like you have a lot of options. Scorpios normally do. <laughs> um, you got the emperor in reverse. That emperor in reverse is a real asshole. Uh, so this could be one of the options that you have. Could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, this could be your person, you know, upset because you have all these options and you're not really dealing with them. Well, this could be somebody new. Why is this emperor in reverse? Who is this? Okay. So this is somebody new. <clears throat> this is a new love here with this ace of cups. This is somebody new. But they're in the reverse. Now, yes, they're an emperor, but this but they're in reverse. So that emperor in reverse is somebody who is who um God, they're just a real asshole in reverse because there's no boundaries, no self-control, no, um, you know, this person is not really stable. So just be mindful of that. Yeah, somebody new coming in and this could be this person that they're accusing you of up here. Okay. Give me one more card on this. Yeah. And this is also feeling like a burden to you also. So, all right, Scorpio. I think you probably just need to hang back a little bit and just work on and just stay in this empress mode. Okay. Cause the more you stay in that empress, the more you attract, uh, people. That's so that's why you have the seven of cups and the outcome because you're in that empress. Um, but yeah, be real selective in the people that you choose to deal with. Cause like I said, you got new love coming in. You got new love coming in that emperor in reverse could be your person. Because in the current energy, like I said, they're, they're wanting a new begin, a, a, a reconciliation with this judgment in reverse. And you guys are probably arguing about that because you don't want it with the nine of cups in reverse. So this could be your person in that emperor in reverse energy because he's not getting his way. See, that emperor is, known, is used to getting his way and being in control and telling people what to do. And so when he doesn't get his way, that's that. That's when he becomes the emperor in reverse because you're not open to any kind of love communication from this person, any kind of love offers or anything. Um, they are also the temperance in reverse. So temperance in the upright is your emotions have been tempered. You know, they're balanced here. They're not. So this person, it could be, you know, this person's upset. And then you got the king of swords in reverse, which is even, you know, that's king of swords upright. It's not the best energy. So with it in reverse, that's even worse. Um, so you do got new love coming in. I feel like what's going on currently is a burden to you. And you do have new love coming in. Because you've got the seven of cups, so you have options. Okay, Scorpio. So I hope this was a good reading for you. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when a new video comes out and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.